Welcome back to another episode of Guess the Rank. This is your boy Speed. We're here today looking at your clips that you submitted and trying to figure out what rank you are based on your gameplay. If you're not familiar with how to submit your clips, go to the YouTube community tab. It is next to home and videos. If you go to community, you'll see where to post them. So please, I love you, but stop asking me. And now, let's get into Guess the Rank. Also, if you enjoy this series and just want to see more episodes of it, Please like the video just so I know what you are enjoying. Also, it helps me out as it busts up the YouTube algorithm, and that is essentially my boss right now, so any help is greatly appreciated. Hopefully, all of you guys have been watching the recent tournament or the qualifiers for the upcoming tournament that is going to be in Los Angeles, if I'm not mistaken, in America, where I live. Let's go, baby. I, I unfortunately am not going, but I am watching the tournament and following the qualifiers, and over on the main Game Leap website, I've just made an analysis for OG versus Bulgaria. If you don't know who Bulgaria that is, that's fine because they're like a 2k stack. However, I just analyze their game and see what OG did well and what the enemy team did bad and I plan to do more of these in the future. So if you're interested, click the link down below and you're going to get a lot of great content over there and especially these qualifier matches that I'll be analyzing. So I'll see you there. Now for the first clip of the day, we're going to be following DNGRR, hashtag a true, I don't know what the rest is and I can't look because I will see the rank then. So, oh wait, I can see you maybe when I go over your name. A buck, I don't know what that says. But getting right off the bat, I was told that you got first blood, so pretty cool. Just using the open wounds, I just love this. Right off the bat, I can tell that you understand where your kill lane is. And for me, this is a big deal, right? Like, I don't know when this starts. Like, it's something I'm trying to think about more and pay attention to. But, like, when do people actually start helping their side lanes? But that was really smart, just knowing that the Slaughter plus Spirit Breaker lane is your best bet for having impact if you're going to fight the runes. Now, I'm going to briefly go over your laning stage. I don't want to focus too much on it. This is probably the weirdest mid matchup I've seen in a while. Juggernaut versus Lifestealer. I think you guys got confused which lane is the safe lane, but I don't know. Maybe there's some patch I didn't see. All jokes aside, though, maybe you actually saw my mid Lifestealer guide on <laughs> the Game League website. Yes, I did make a mid Lifestealer guide. So check it out over there if you want to see that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I noticed you do that is a bit unconventional is you actually try to jungle at minute two. I guess you do kill the Alpha Wolf. I wouldn't like to see you commit to the small ones. If I'm you, I would just leave the small ones because I feel like you missed a creep. Yeah, it's just not worth it. I guess I like the idea. It feels a bit early to me. All right, you should have casted open wounds. I know he can spin, but then you can rage and like, I don't know. I don't think you just want to take that unfavorable of a trade. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, dude? Hit the... This is so weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That was a lot of misclicking. Oh god, dude, what are these? I hate- Okay, I'm gonna end watching the laning stage there. I literally can't stand- I, I actually get so mad. I get actually so mad when I see a level 2 shaman port mid. I, I wanna blow my brains out. Like, can he just go shackle the Darkseer or do some pull? Like, be useful. You don't gank mid. It's three minutes into the game. Even if you get the kill, it's barely beneficial. Like, oh my good lord. All right, now we're gonna be looking at a fight at the 13-20 minute mark. Your team is absolutely destroying. You have extremely high net worth. Wow, you are crushing. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Jeez, you have a lot of CS though. I, I mean, this is like very, very good last hits for this stage of the game at 13 minutes. I think this is legit, guys, but I don't know how you just killed the Slark. But all I have to say is strictly based off this really, really good last hits and good movement. Like, I, I think overall, you're just doing a really great job of identifying who you need to kill and pressuring them, as well as keeping your CS to 120 with five kills and two assists. That is extremely hard to do on an unconventional hero in an unconventional lane. Sorry, I shouldn't say an unconventional hero. Just in an unconventional lane. Yeah, so I'm going to take a guess at your rank. I feel like I have a pretty good like feel for this because this seems just very high skill. Even the fact that you have a win lace just gives me like good vibes. <laughs> All right. Ah, I'm going to go for Divine. Divine 5 or Low Immortal. I guess I'll have to pick one, so I'll say Divine 5. Divine 2. Okay, so I was pretty good. I mean, I, that's not bad. Only three ranks off. Just to look at this, guys, once again, uh, you have to be able to do this. If you're trying to gain a Mamar, you have to be consistent in your last hitting and kills. And now let's move on to the next clip. All right, next clip, we'll be following Don't Rate Me. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Am I just not supposed to guess your rank now? On the Monkey King, you were safely in Monkey King. That is the worst stackage of stunts I have ever seen in my life. You got the kill, though, so I guess the damage was good enough. Okay, you want to push this mid tower? I would be a bit careful about approaching this from out of vision, but I guess we'll see. It's pretty low, so you might as well take it. What am I watching? Why did... Okay, this is terrible. Why, don't lead with your stun like that. You don't lead with stun on a hero like Abaddon, right? Because you're not going to burst him, so you want to have your stun for a little bit afterwards so you can catch other heroes in your ultimate, right? You don't just stun some Abaddon who... You don't want to go on this guy, right? Like, I guess this isn't terrible, but at the same time, it's... It's just not optimal to do things like that. That's pretty good, actually. 
All right, that was pretty clean. I'll give you credit there. You definitely cast your ultimate there and, and the primal spring in, in good succession. Your CS is definitely a bit low. I am a big fan when Monkey Kings go more of down like the farming route when they play safe lane, only because I think a lot of players get caught up in this fighting style. They die a couple times and then it's like, ah, GG. I right, and for the next fight, you pick the Wood BKB. I can respect this build. I mean, sometimes you'll see the Echo Saber Maelstrom in a BKB. You decided to go for the Mjolnir first, which I think is a bit risky this game. If you look at the enemy team, they do have quite a few ways of killing you with magical damage, which is generally the weakness of Monkey King. So getting into this fight here, don't jump onto that tree like that. You have to stay out of vision. You can't just like... Oh my god. You have to... What the heck? Your positioning is just like... It's kind of off here. You're just like... Why does everyone have a blade mail? Why do you have a blade mail? Why does everyone have blade mail? <laughs> Alright, but just try to stay out of vision. <laughs> I keep getting... Alright, good hop of the tree here. This looks like a good ulti. Uh, I mean... I feel like you could have casted it more to the left. You're not casting your... Alright... I feel like a lot of things could have been done much better there. Hop under the tree. You definitely could have readjusted to this tree. Like, there, I don't think there was much of a reason not to. And then, like, you clicked, like, here. I'm pretty sure you want to click more in front of yourself. Unless I'm crazy. No, maybe that was actually the furthest. So, yeah, you probably should have just readjusted to the left. And then you didn't click your BKB, obviously, so. Not much I can tell you about not clicking your BKB. You gotta click it, is all I would say. Also... Because you sort of wasted your stun a bit earlier, you didn't have it there. So, like, for me, you're wasting your stun way too much. The spell casting is not terrible. It's like a 6 out of 10, and I guess I'll base your rank off that. So, yeah, I'm gonna shoot my shot with don't rate me. So, uh, check your Twitter DMs. But, yeah, your, your rank, I'm gonna have to say this is Legend 1. <sighs> hot take. Hot. Archon 1? Okay, so I actually gave you more credit than you deserved, but... Okay, yeah, if I was you, I would be very attentive to my spell usage. I think you're kind of just wasting your spells and staying at vision too much, which is really bad for Monkey King. Next up, we're going to be following Bricknick, like Picnic, but with bricks on the Snapfire. That was really funny. And uh, so you're playing, I guess you're jungling, which is hype, because if you guys know me, I love when people jungle. Also, you got the Philosopher's Stone, no small items, no clarities, which makes me a bit nervous. I don't like Guardian Greaves Rush that much. It's okay this game, because they're... A lot of right click but like generally i despise when supports go builds like this where they literally have one item in their inventory after they finish degrees besides your casual call the strike <laughs> okay but i'll stop laughing and let's just let's just look at whatever team fight's coming up here all right you should probably put this grow bow in the fountain i feel like one of your dry or your winter ranger probably even winter wyvern would love this item oh maybe you're handing it off i don't know what's going on you're probably gonna hand it off because that's a god item for your comp okay fight's breaking out moving to position you are really you can cast that from that far? <laughs> Dude, I haven't played this hero in a- <laughs> What? <laughs> Dude, I actually haven't played this hero in a while. I totally forgot. That is crazy. You're kind of missing a lot of them, I'm not gonna lie, but... That is so actually- That's actually so dumb. That's actually so dumb. Why do you only have- Whoa, don't max a little shredder, this is trash. The spell, like, scales very mediocrely. You want to max your cookie 100%. Like, a 2.5 second stun with the high damage nuke, not only does it let you one-shot waves, in my opinion, it's just far better for fighting. Even though they do have right clickers, where slowing their attack speed is pretty valuable. Like, I get that, but I'd much rather have a longer stun just to um, control them up, right? It pairs very well with, like, a, a bristleback in this game. All right, next up, we're going to see you clearing the mid-wave. I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. I'd probably just prefer you to see you use your Q. <laughs> I know that wasn't your intent. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to be careful about wasting your spells like that, though, because obviously that could come to a detriment to the team fight that is currently happening. So you're probably going to Greaves this, this drow. Greaves! Ah! You didn't click it! I don't think she would have lived anyway, but, like, you got to at least click it out of principle. And then you didn't have your ultimate. So, like, I don't know. You kind of just, like, wasted your spells a bunch, and you still have this Grove Bow, which is making me literally insane. Why do you still have this? Drow doesn't even have a neutral item? Are you serious? Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> All right, and finally, we're going to look at one more fight here to end off the clip. You're spitting on Kenny G. That's kind of mean. Oh, he pops the blade mail. Why does everyone have blade mail? Ew! <laughs> it's so bad. All right, whatever. You're spitting on him. Eh, uh, that was kind of a bad cookie. Dude, can someone pick up the DD? <laughs> Damn, y'all are blind. <laughs> okay, good usage of the E, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I can kind of get a vibe for what this game is. I'm taking my guess. I'm ready, coach. Okay, so based on my years of analysis, I'm going to say that this is Archon 2. Guardian 5. Guys, I am spot on lately. You you actually can't beat me. Soon, 
actually, now that I'm thinking about it, soon I'm going to have another guest on. It's it's a plan of mine. I'm going to get someone on. Could even be one of you guys. Who knows? And if you want to be on it, like the video. That will definitely improve your odds. It's not just me saying that for the algorithm. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Spread the play. Spread the play. Cubix on the jungle Venomancer. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. No joke. Not going to lie. Starting items, not looking too fresh, though. Why are you buying an old talisman? Kind of mad. Okay, you are actually very underfirmed for Venom Jungle, so you are banned from playing Venom Jungle. How are you level 7 temp- You are banned. Banned. Alright? You were banned. You're not allowed to play it anymore, alright? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. If I see you play it one more time, you have to buy a Game Leap subscription. That's the punishment. What in the world? Does this work? You should probably kite backwards. Switch to Strength Treads. Right, that was kind of bad positioning, not gonna lie. All you had to do is like, hit him once and then Plague Ward and then back away. Did you just click your ulti? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, did you just click your ulti? Why did you click it? <laughs> Do you not have it bound? <laughs> what? Do you click all your spells? No? Why do you click your ulti? <laughs> what? what am I watching? What am I what? What? Alright, you are still under farm, but I'll try to give you the benefit of the doubt. You are... <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally didn't plan that. I was like, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> My man, what's going on, dude? You gotta make sure they're closer to you before you ult the. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, you are taking a bit of jungle. I do like this positioning, though. I probably would like to see you go cut the bottom wave, right? You could go uh, put down some plague words right here and cut it. Just so you get the, the, the lane farm, right? There's not too much to do here. Pushing in mid is actually fine, too. All right, you should really plague ward a wave. Don't just keep jungling. Like, at least, you know, like, you should get this XP. Why are you standing out of XP range? Yeah, I hate when people do this. It's like when offlaners just stand out of XP range. Like, even if you get it denied, which obviously isn't the case here, but like, I'm just giving a hypothetical. Like, at least get the XP. I Woo! All right, and last but not least, we have a fight. You are level 18 with the eggs now. Pretty strong. Obviously, you do want to try to get to the talent tree level 27 second poison over duration as soon as possible, as that is a big buff. But yeah, let's check it out. So you got the enchanted quiver, blink dagger. You're going for the all out ulti build. You are just getting in. Might go for it here. You gotta make up your mind. You're about to get your blink cancelled. Tell me that hits Viper. Alright, it did at least. Dave, did that hit the peel? Holy. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my. This guy needs some coaching. Shameless plug. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Is he dead? <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> triple kill. <laughs> All right, all I'm gonna say is if you improve your farming, I can tell that this is quite low MMR. I'm not gonna lie. Like this, I mean, my man Peel is vibing. He is vibing. <laughs> with his all right, uh, I'll take my guess. Uh, I'm gonna go. What's the rank? What's the brown rank called? Not racist, but uh, Guardian. Guardian two. Oh! I know my Venom jungles when I see him, guys. Don't you ever doubt me. It was exactly Guardian 2. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Venom jungle. I've seen it because I've watched over 8,000 matches at this point. So thank you very much. All right, next up, we're going to be following Chinese lettering on the Leshrac. See what's happening. CS check. I really hope you were in mid. Were you mid? How do I check? I guess I could go back, but I'm not going to check. If you were mid, your CS needs to be like double. If I'm breaking out, SF is wildly out of position. What is he doing? Why is he there? All right, fight continues though. I mean, you guys are invading the jungle here. You're not, dude, turn on your E. You can't get into melee range of an Ogre Magi without casting your spells, you know what I mean? Like when this fight breaks out, like right here, you could use him potentially because you know it's a favorable fight, right? Dazzle's mid, SF's dead, so you can leave with the Yules onto this guy, right? And then, especially after the stun, like you should either follow it up with your stun or turn on your, your E. Like, don't go for like lightning storm. Are you dead? PL is manning up. All right, you gotta. There's some spell issues going on. I'm not gonna lie. Like Edict needs to come out much earlier. PL gave up. He is not vibing. Oh, I already think I know what MMR this is. Obviously not the exact, but like your CS is low. People are just kind of running into each other. You weren't casting your spells. Like I have to be harsh, right? There's just kind of a lot of mistakes going on there where you have to be much faster with everything, right? Like. Sometimes Dota is just reaction time and ability to cast all your spells very quickly. Like, that's just reality. All right, next up, we got a fight going on in the mid lane. Okay, this is like a really awkward place to fight. Like, basically, when you're playing Leshrac, for the most part, what you're trying to do is find gaps in the side. You're trying to get around the side and not run in from the front, because when you naturally run in from the front or into the middle of the fight, you tank spells. And Leshrac currently has 1200 HP. Doesn't really work. And I'm going to guess that that's what happens here based on your... I actually like what you're trying to do here. I like that you're not walking up the hill. I actually really do. I don't think you 
Uh, that use is not necessary at all. Uh, oh no! Alright, for all you Leshrac players, do not, and I repeat, do not skill your ulti at 12. It is so bad. It's actually, you can't play your hero if you skill ulti at 12, and I'm sort of serious. Like, it doubles in mana per second. It's unbelievably bad. Like, you please just leave it at level 1. Alright, we got one more engagement coming up here for the last track. You got Bots Kaya, been under farmed, as I said. It looks like you picked up your CS actually quite a bit. I don't know how many are Mud Golems, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You picked it up. Okay, so what is going on? Ogre Magi walking up the cliff. You can't go on him. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, back up, back up. Okay, okay. Alright. We're, we're resetting. Yules. I can respect that. Let the Veno get his ulti off, hopefully. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. I like that you're not running in too early. If I was you, I would consider running around the back here. Right? Like, the only way you're gonna get damage is if you can get your Edict off and, like, some spells in the back line. Alright, looks like you guys are disengaging, so I can respect this. Mm, Slaughter is in. I don't know if you can walk in here. Oh, that's a great stun, though. Uh, okay, I was gonna say you need to use him or yourself. Nice. This is good. I really don't have that many complaints. Alright, I feel like maybe you could right-click them there, but... I don't have too many complaints. I'm not gonna lie, I, that, that was... That was pretty good. Like, I think everything about that was pretty clean. I actually thought this was fairly low MMR. I was gonna guess, like, Archon or something, but... Now, just after that... I'm doing a CS check. Don't talk. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't at me. Alright, mediocre. Alright, I'm guessing. Eh. <laughs> eh, we're gonna go forward. Legend 5. Divine 1. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. Where is mid... People this bad at Divine 1? Like, what is PL doing? He has 149 CS. I mean, he is, like... It's a hard PL game, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's not a good PL game, like, your lane is gonna be mediocre, and then you're against a Leshrac, but like, DAMN, THIS IS SOME CREEPS! <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, I got the need for speed, that's right, you even got three E's in speed, so, <laughs> I appreciate it, because if you had two E's, I would be immensely offended. Thank you for the name, though, I really like it. Alright, getting into your first engagement, whoa, what was that? Some stacking going on? We got some stacking? Is that a thing? Does that work? Did it work? Are you gonna check? I wanna see. Oh, so close. I like the attempt though, I mean, it's heads up. By the way, I hate this new charge thing, I'm not gonna lie, like, why? I felt like the old one was totally fine. I'm all for changes, but like, not when it, the old system had literally no problem. Alright, fight breaking out though, onto the techies. Sure, you, you casted your spells, kiting out. Ogre Magi coming back in, I feel like you guys can kill them. Whoa, Pango is in, that Pango is in. Alright, you probably should ulti. Uh... Also, why do you not have a stick? This seems like a stick game. Like, I'm just looking at their heroes. I feel like you want a wand for these fights. Like, ever since they buffed their spear, you're gonna have more boulders per fight. So, you, I feel like you really need the mana regen. Like, I'm all for urn and stuff. And I guess you're a bit under farm. Like, you have no kills. GG. You have no kills, but I'd probably have a stick if I was you or try to invest in one against, like, a bristleback lion. All right, 17 minutes into the game. What are you saving for? Why do you have 1,800 gold? Buy an item. I would really buy a wand. I'm kind of okay with you rushing this item, you know, but like at the same time, it's just, why did you have 1,800 gold? What happened there that you were able to save that much? No, no, it's engagement breaking out. That's a fine roll in. Why did you kick the boulder down, man? Like, you gotta kick, like, it's like playing Earthshaker and when you Echo Slam and you throw your Fissure behind yourself, like, unless there's heroes behind you, you need to throw the boulder towards the other people because I know it can be a bit awkward, right? But just to go back, if you put it down on top of them, you can still kick it, right? So as you roll in here, you can put it down here, like right on top of him, and then kick it back towards the lion, right? You could kick it back towards the lion, and then it would hit lion too, which could be the difference between winner and the fight or not. I don't know. But like, you're obviously playing for maximum efficiency in Dota, so you just shouldn't ever do something like that. Also, this item is making me mad. Put something in here. Why do you not have nothing? Why are people still do- Why did no one have- ah! All right, you did eventually put the item in your inventory, so I will give you props there. Roll into the techies. Mid late on the silence. Dude, what is going on? Bloodseeker is just killing himself. John Wick. Not gonna lie, I saw the movie and he was a lot more sneaky than that. Because that was absolutely abysmal. I'm not gonna lie, man, like... <laughs> what is this game? Why did you send this? You're 23,000 net worth up at the 21 minute mark. Does anything even... Like... You just stomped them. You're, <laughs> you're a higher net worth than their... On Earth Spirit, than their highest net worth hero. Oh, is someone smurfing? I guess I'll look at the end, maybe. <laughs> but like, what is going on? This is not gonna lie. This just feels like a weird game to submit. Also, I haven't seen anyone really max grip in a while. It doesn't scale like insane, while this does scale insane because it increases the stun duration. And on top of that, right, not only does it increase the stun duration, which is a big deal, but it also lowers the cooldown, which helps you be mobile. So I don't know why you would skill like this. 
just seems bizarre. Bizarre. Also, dude, why do you save so much gold? Like, this is actually tricking me. Like, you have 2k gold in your uh, support. At least queue something up. Like, this is making me so mad. Why, why are you doing this? Uh, I don't understand. I just don't get it. Okay, decent kick. You probably could have... Like, I can tell you don't really spam Earth Spirit. I mean, maybe you do, and I'm being rude now. <laughs> but, but, like, you could have, like, kicked it, and then pulled it back, and then, like, rolled, and it's just a bit... I don't know. It's just a bit, like, not perfect. <laughs> What am I supposed to say to these clips, man? Like, your team's just running them over. You have 30, ah, you're 30k up in 23 minutes. I mean, well played, I guess. Holy, your Ogre Magi is higher net worth than their highest net worth hero. This is the biggest stomp I've seen in a while. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I guess I'm going to guess your rank, even though it was a complete and utter blowout. I'm going to go with Legend 1. Come on, baby. Archon 5, damn, that is a, what is that, one star off, or am I messing up the ranks again? Pretty sure that's one star off. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching another episode of Guess the Rank. I also, once again, I like your name a lot, got the need for speed. Next time you submit a clip, just gonna say, putting it out there, maybe, just maybe, a game with actual team fights. <laughs> but whatever, I love you anyway. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please do like and subscribe to help our channel grow. You know the deal, and a peace. Are you tired of being hard stuck at your rank? Over at GameLeap.com, we have a library of hundreds of guides authored by pro players and coaches covering literally every aspect of Dota. Whether you're looking to master a new hero or role or just polish up your existing skills, GameLeap is the proven place for competitive gamers to hone their craft and unlock their secret potential. Hit the link on screen right now, right now, to take advantage of our special offer for a 25% discount, guys, 25%, and start your journey today.